Hey, what we're going to talk about today is how having your paperwork not in order can ultimately cost you hundreds of thousands, can affect your cash flow, your profitability, and in worst cases, put you out of business like this company I'm going to talk about today. So hi, my name is Kian Brennan. I'm the CEO of a company called Quantum Contract Solutions. We make these videos is because there's a lot of construction companies out there that are losing money from the contractual side of things, and I don't want you to be one of them. So years ago, I used to work in Iraq. It was an oil and gas project. And we used to fly in to Basra Airport. It was actually quite a, a really, really interesting project. So it was, they built an oil refinery in the 80s and they built it and they ran it for a couple of years. And for obvious reasons, it was never run again since. So it was a project with one of the major oil and gas companies. The project was to upgrade that, get it up and running again and get Iraq producing gas again, right? So really, really fantastic experience. And uh, one of the best working times of my life. We used to fly in, so we used to fly to wherever in the world we were before, but we used to fly to Dubai. And then from Dubai, we fly to Basra. And in Basra, we'd get off the plane in Basra. We'd walk out through the airport. We'd get in like a land cruiser. And the airport was kind of had, it was like an onion sort of a defense sort of way it was sorted. So you get in, in the, to the land cruiser and you drive out through one checkpoint and then you go to an outer level and you go to another checkpoint and you get to another outer level. And then we came out and you literally go around the corner and it was an area called the Dust Bowl. And I was just basically just just this area of sand there. In that area of sand, there was loads of armored vehicles, military or ex-military special force people that were working for the oil and gas company. So you get out there and they'd put a bulletproof vest on you, get all your bags and they put it into vehicles. These were all bulletproof vehicles. And then you go from there and you travel down to your project. So there was about five different projects going on. So you go down to your project. And my role there was I was working for a large, uh, as a director at a large cost management and contracts consultancy, a team of about uh, 10, to 15 across all the projects. And our goal was obviously to help the oil and gas company save money on their contracts, make sure that everything was being run on time. And so when we got to site, the way they run it there was a little bit different. So in most projects in the world, you've got loads of different contractors and loads of you know, different interfaces. One contractor is doing one thing, another contractor is doing another thing. But that's not how they were doing it there. They And I don't agree with this at all. They had one general contractor that did everything. So they, they awarded the contract to one company and they did all of the work, absolutely everything everything on the project. And I think the goal there was to help with the logistics and all, all of that sort of thing. I understand that. But if that company doesn't work out, then you're, you're not good for options. And so one of the things I realized that when I was on site and when I was there and, and working that different country, diff obviously the bulletproof vest sort of stuff and getting to site, it's all kind of, you know, all different, very different. But once you get to site, it's all the same. It's, it's actually the construction is the same. And the thing that really kicked home was the contracts were the same, the outcome was the same. So that one contractor had signed a really, really aggressive contract. So oil and gas country had given them, you know, this hostile contract, which they always do, and they just signed it. Their variations and EOT submissions were horrendous. Their payment applications that they submitted was horrendous. And they basically didn't follow the contract at all. And so I just want to give you a perspective. So when when they're submitting horrendous variations and horrendous extension of time claims, or payment payment certificates to get paid, this is all about how how they get their their money right so it comes into to my team who was on the oil and gas side and the thing is you got to get these variations and you got to get these extension of times and the payment applications you got to make sense of them and then you got to go internally and you got to present them to a contracts committee or you got to present them internally to a leadership team if you're getting garbage from the contractor right no, no matter like if they're if they're entitled to be paid for it, whatever it doesn't matter if they submitted garbage to you and then you have to turn around and submit the garbage to your leadership team you're going to look like an idiot right so what happens there is you just say no that the quality of that submission is terrible you've been rejected and so they're essentially not getting paid for work that they're entitled to get paid for because their paperwork is so terrible right that's what that's what's really what's happening and so they're also not getting their variations approved they're not getting their uh, extension of time approved which all starts to add up so their cash flow starts to get super super tight they don't have enough money to pay for their employees obviously their profit margin is getting kicked all because they're just not getting things approved and we'd be like come on we, we literally need you to submit better documents because we can't approve them we know you need to get them approved so you can pay your thing because we know that you're struggling but you've got to help us let's meet us here because it's going to be a big issue so it's, even though that was a story about iraq about how all of that works it's the exact same in every construction company so you got to remember that when you're submitting your documents to the client he has to turn around and he has to either approve them he just needs to be able to understand them so you're submitting terrible documentation it has a complete effect on how 
your cash flow is, how your profitability is on, on your project. So it's worth spending your time getting that documentation correct, easy to understand, so that when it goes to the person on the other side, they can approve it easily. If you need any sort of help whatsoever, there's a link in the description. And just click the link in the description. It'll take you to a page where you can schedule a call with one of our team. You can That call won't be a sales call. There'll be no payment taken. It'll just be if or how we can help you. It's been good information and useful. And if you've got some value from it, please hit the subscribe or the like button. I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you myself. Take it easy. Chat to you soon. Bye-bye.